Today we're going to do a super duper easy wet method with the decoupage. Um, we're just going to start as normal, grab whatever board you've got or whatever you're going to decoupage on. In this case, I have chosen just a board that is an art board. I'm just painting it with the old white, the Annie Sloan old white, just with a flat brush. Give it a quick dry off. I didn't spend time waiting for it this morning. I just wanted a really quick and easy process. So I've just got the heat gun. I'm just drying off the paint. I'm only giving it one coat. It really only needs one coat. I'm using the white underneath the decoupage paper so that all the colors of the decoupage paper come through really well. I'm grabbing my paper in this instance. It is the two Tahitian women our gorgeous, gorgeous mint decoupage paper there. I'm just flattening it out. This one's been folded for a really long time. Um, it's been on one of our shelves in the back here, so I'm just trying to get out a few of the creases. Grown up being my Annie Sloan image medium, I'm gonna put it on the whole board, give it a decent coat, not too thick, not too thin, just a nice little coat over the top. I'm just using a small round brush, the small, Mint by Michelle round brush, the uh, number eight on this one. I'm turning my paper over and I'm getting a mister and I'm just spraying the back of it, just misting the back of it with water. And I'm gonna let that sit for a second just to absorb into the paper just for a moment. Then I'm getting the Glad Wrap take out a piece of the glad wrap wrap it up into a little ball you see me do that here put it to the side grab your paper again it should be ever so slightly damp but not wet you'll feel the difference in the paper and then just lay it down as you would normally you'll feel it's got a little bit more give than normal because the moisture is soaked into the paper but actually that makes it really, really easy to work with. You can keep lifting them up. That is one of the good things about the mint papers, that you can lift them up, put them back down, reposition them, etc. Keep doing that, keep rubbing it down. I do get one wrinkle in this, right sort of up the top of the picture, and I probably could have fixed it, I think, um, but I was just trying to get through this pretty quickly, so. You can see how easy it is to lay down. You can see how flat it's laying down. And that's because of the moisture from the back of the paper. Just keep rubbing down until it's done. Make sure you're pushing out all of the edges. If you need any more uh, image medium to the sides, do what I've just done there and pull it back. Put a little bit underneath again rub it down some more and then either let it dry once you've got it really flat either let it dry or do what I just did and that is to grab the heat gun and I just dried it off really quickly I'm just pushing along the sides there just so that it makes it easy to remove those excess bits of the paper which is what I'm doing here so you're just going to grab in this case I think I've got about a 120 grit sandpaper just grab that, run down the edges, remove any excess pieces. If this was a piece of furniture, you'd do it exactly the same way. And that's done. 
You can see on the board there, apart from that tiny wrinkle that I got up the top, there's really no wrinkles on that paper. All you're going to do now is start blending your colours. So I've just started with a yellow. The best way to blend your colours is, is to layer the colours and to come into the paper a little bit. So I've started with the yellow because there's quite a bit of yellow in this picture. I've gone back on top. So the yellow that I've used is the Annie Sloan Tilton. Gone back over the top on one side with the Amsterdam Green and on the other side with the Givenchy. In between, I'm just getting a lint-free cloth and I'm just blotting the paint a little bit. This is just a really quick, easy method to blend in and extend an image. So I'm not trying to, um, you know, paint the girls out or paint the dresses out. I'm just trying to extend it so that it looks like a full image. So I just keep going over with that with the various colours that I've got, which, as I said, are the Givenchy the Tilton, the Amsterdam Green. Keep blotting away. At this point, it's still quite wet, so you can remove bits if you like. I did then remove a tiny bit that's up on her hair, a little bit down on the dress there. on in with a lot of um, Oxford Navy and then in with the Emperor's Silk there just to try to pull out that red of the watermelon that she's holding and I think that works quite well. Once you've painted everything and you're happy with it and it's all dry, so make sure it's all properly dry, then just grab whatever you finish you're using. I've just grabbed the Unique Options Gloss Top Coat. I've just given it one quick coat on this and then dried it off just so that I can take a photo. I would probably give it another, another one or two coats depending on what I'm going to use this board for. And then that's it, let that dry and finished. The whole project took about 15 minutes. Easy peasy and worked really well.